start. I'm gonna be very quick. Okay, I start from um, Brafam's testimony. You know, um, it was um, the, no, the, the encounter with the policeman. So it was like, it's on Wednesday, Wednesday. So I went to evangelism because I used to have a, a long time with evangelism as well on Wednesdays. So I have this my um, whatever, the speaker and everything. So I was going, um, I stayed at the, the square, the market square, and I said, no, I, I have to move from market square. So I moved from market square, so I went to, you know, the supervisor's area in the bottom so central, where the supervisors are and where the bosses are and everything. So I went there, I was preaching with this loud and everything, and I was saying, you know, my heart was up and everybody in the world. It was so like very very loud that day, and then and I was going around going to the offices and everything, and then uh, making sure that the people inside the office is hearing what I'm preaching. Amen. So they called police, and the police came, and when the police were like about four five of them, they came. They said, "You, you know, you gotta move." I said, oh, "Okay." I'm, I said, "I'm on the move already." So I came with him. <laughs> Praise God. So I said, I'm on the move. I said, I'm, I'm on the move. I'm mobile. They said, yes, you did. I continue to move your mobile. They continue to be mobile. I said, yes, I know I'm going to be on, I'm going to be mobile. So I went, as I was going, I come back and I said, oh, by the way, what about you? Are you a child of God? Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? He said to me, I'm a Christian. I said, <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Amen. And I have to preach to him again. So God gave me that opportunity to preach to the police. And then, then I went and stayed very, very closer. Anyway, so that is so good. You know, whenever you are praying, whenever you are there, things do happen. Amen. Things do happen. It was on, um, on Thursday, I was there preaching. And, um, you know, a man, one a man of God just came, walked past me, come back, and he said to me, There's something about you. He walked past, he came back, he said to me, There's something about you. He said, What are, who are you? I said, I'm a pastor of a church. He said, Oh, that's the reason why. Then he met, we moved and went to a far distance. And then he came back and he said, God told me that you should pray for me. I said, Hmm. Again? He said, Yes. Then I stayed there, very close to the, uh, to what I'm still saying, so, you know, very close to the bus station where they are chasing me around. So I prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed for him. So after praying for him, he, he shook off and he said, wow, I'm healed. I'm healed. Amen. Amen. So that is so good. It's, please, if you're not going, if, if you've not started going to evangelism, the time has come for us to start to go evangelism. Amen. Our God is a good God. So I want to speak on our sister, um, Sister German's testimony. You know, whenever you have problems, whenever you have fear, all you need to do, just pick up your call, call us, call the man of God, call us for prayers. You know, it's not only prayers. It's not only prayers. I found that in her own case, it's not only prayers, but advice, encouragement. It is well. There's nothing is going to happen to you. You will not die. You will live. No problem. Amen? And that day I asked her, what about my brother? Because sometimes this is my brother you see there. This is my brother you see. That's my brother. That's my blood brother if you don't know. That's him. I have only one blood brother in this country. It's him. That's me. Isabu. <laughs> <laughs> we call him Isabu. He, he doesn't listen. He doesn't hear anything. Amen? <laughs> Praise God. So I said, what of my brother? He said, it's around. I said, okay, thank God. Then I prayed and prayed with, you can imagine, with all my heart, with the whole heart. And when she called, I said, why is she calling me now? And I said, no, I just picked the call. And I prayed with all my heart. And thank God, uh, she left her and went to the hospital. And I called her in the hospital. And then she said, told me that she's waiting. And I called her again, and she's free to come back home. Amen. And I uh, thank you, my brother, that day I, I asked, I said, 
one of my brothers said he's coming to pick me up and I said, mm, I get you. I should have dealt with you anyway. Praise God. Amen. Our uh, God is good. Uh, I want to thank God for everything the Lord is doing. Thank God for peace. Uh, what he didn't tell you is how many times I've uh, been fighting with him all this time. So he's so good to me. Um, sometimes he wouldn't like to have me as your father, you know, but because I, I, I'm so strong that sometimes any, in any little thing I, should, I fight. My daughter knows about that one as well. <laughs> Praise God. And then, but everything has worked together for good. One thing is fasting and prayer. Are you fasting? Are you praying? Amen. We entered the long term fasting and prayer. I say we must continue to fast until we get it done. Amen. And then we'll continue to fast and fast. You didn't step up your, up your uh, uh, scholarship. She, you've got two scholarships. Amen. One. One scholarship. Your big one. <laughs> Praise God. Fast. Pray. Don't give up. Amen. Any day you stop, any day you give up, that means you lose. Even if you are rejected, 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 don't stop. Continue to fast and pray. Amen. Don't give up. So we continue to fast and fast. I tell you, when they call me that it's 90%, he says, they say it's 90% for me to get a job. Oh, glory. He didn't tell you how much he was rejected in, in medical school, but we keep on fasting and praying. And at the end of the day, he was accepted. Amen. Amen. Please, my message to everyone of us today, continue to fast and pray. Amen. Amen. No matter what, continue to fast and pray. Amen. And God will do all things for us. Amen. Amen. Our God is a good God. Can we give God a clap of praise, Lord Jesus? Amen.